Okay, now we get to some fun stuff. We actually get to start playing around with Sketch. Now, Sketch is a great application for its simplicity, and that's actually one of the things that initially drew me to Sketch. Now, if you have used Illustrator or Photoshop before, you may have opened up Illustrator and then maybe put on your stopwatch and just waited or maybe went out and got the mail or something while the application fired itself up. Now, Sketch is not like that. Sketch is a fast application. It is a lot more minimal than Illustrator, and because of that, its strengths are that it's a quick application that's easy to get up and running with, however, offers a lot of really powerful tools when you need them. But it doesn't give you a whole lot of extra bloat with things you're never going to use. Specifically for web design and UX design and any sort of uh, mobile application design, more so than illustration and things like that. However, the vector tools in Sketch are awesome, so you can certainly do illustration in Sketch. Now let's check out the interface. We have four major components to this interface. We have the main white canvas area, which is in the center right here, and this is going to be pretty typical of any design application where you have what's considered a drawing canvas. Now over on the right, we have sort of our information panel. Now anytime you're working with any sort of shape or layer or anything, the information to modify or maybe even just view the size or something like that is going to be over here. It's uh, where we can see that we can add fills, borders, shadows, inner shadows, blurs. Uh, we can change blending modes. We can change the size and position. We can do alignment stuff. We'll even be doing exporting stuff over here. So over on the right is where you have most of your information regarding what you're working on. Now over here on the left is where our layers, our artboards, and our pages are going to be. Now what's up with all of those things? Well, they're easy concepts and we'll be going over them as we go, but layers are just like any sort of other illustration or design application. And if you haven't used any others, basically it's a way to layer things in, let's say vertical space on top of one another. Something that's higher up in the layer panel is going to be sitting on top of something that's below it. Now pages are sort of like a whole other canvas, so you can keep things organized uh, within your document by having things in separate pages. If you have a very large sketch document, it's often a good idea to keep things in pages. We will be doing that as we go. Now, top here, we have the toolbar. Now, the toolbar is what it sounds like. It's where all of our tools live. And in fact, this is highly customizable. We can change this if we'd like. And in fact, if we head up to the top menu and select view, we can find customize toolbar. And you can see all of the various options in which we can drag and move and change. Or we can just, you can see drag and drop the defaults in here. We can even select if we want icons and text or text only. Now we're going to be leaving this as the defaults because obviously I want my experience to be as similar to yours in this application right now. So let's just select done. And as you can see here from the toolbar, most things are grayed out because a lot of the tools we're going to be using once we actually start getting into illustrating or making our designs. One of the ones that is not grayed out is insert. If we were to click insert, you can see that we can insert a vector, a pencil, a shape, which then allows us to select what type of shape, text, we can insert an image, uh, we can insert an artboard, which, uh, like I said, we're going to be going over really in-depthly in the next video all about artboards. And we can have slices, which a slice is used for exporting aspects of your design. We typically do designs so that we can uh, use them for something, and maybe you are going to be using these assets in your actual applications. In that case, you might want to slice up your design into different exportable chunks. Now we also have two things in purple pinkish color right here, symbols and styled text. Now these are two of Sketch's sort of secret sauce tools, right? These, these are some of the best tools and best reasons to use Sketch. The stylized text presets and symbols are two tools that you're going to be using uh, very frequently once you get the hang of them because they are a bit complicated and well, not super complicated, but complicated to the point where they're going to be extremely useful to you once you master them. 
But if you don't master them, you might never notice they're there. I highly recommend taking the time, which we will be covering in depth in this series, to learn symbols and stylized text so that way you can save time in your design. It's truly some of the best reasons to use Sketch. Now we can just insert a shape really quickly. We can just come in and select shape, rectangle. Now you can see we have a cursor. We can click and drag. There we go. And as you can see, when I drop it here, all of our things in our toolbar all of a sudden light up. We can edit, transform, rotate, mask, scale. Uh, we can make a grid out of this shape, which I'll be showing you later. And we can even edit over here in our properties now, in our information section over here. You'll also notice a new option, which is make exportable down here on the right. This is going to be where you can select a particular layer or artboard and, and choose how to export this. Now exporting is a big part of Sketch and I'll be going over that in quite depth. So as you can see, this is the Sketch interface. Most everything you'll need can be acquired through these four areas in the Sketch application, but occasionally you will come in here to do some things. For instance, like in text, we can make things like text transform, uppercase, lowercase, that kind of stuff. Um, up top here on our menu is going to be basically the kitchen sink of where you can find everything. However, Sketch does a great job about making the tools that you really need to use front and center within your panel and easy to get. So we will be covering the menu bar up here. But as a, like I said, this is really sort of like a kitchen sink. It's where to find everything, but most everything that's in here is visible through here or very useful keyboard shortcuts, which we'll be going over as well. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to be talking about artboards. Now, you might be bogged down a little bit. These first three videos are really getting into some stuff, interface stuff, and maybe application stuff without actually getting into building anything yet. But that's okay, because the artboards are such a key concept in Sketch, all about artboards is totally needed. Artboards are a fundamental and really important foundational aspect of Sketch uh, that will become really important as we grow in our abilities to uh, design things within this awesome application. So let's get going with all about artboards in the next video. If you would like to purchase this series and see the rest of it, we're going to be doing three full chapters of Sketch tutorials, basically taking you through everything you need to know from basic examples and sort of foundational knowledge to actually building real world application designs and using real world techniques that you'll see in the office. So check it out, head over to store.leveluptutorials.com or click the annotation in this video to head over to the store and purchase this series. Keep in mind that purchasing this series helps go a long ways towards creating free tutorials for this website, or you could become a level up pro, subscribe, and get access to streaming this series. So head over to store.leveluptutorials.com to complete this sketch series and learn everything there is to know about sketch.